Well, hey there and welcome back to Weather Nation on this Saturday morning and a very busy weekend in store for us. We have an enhanced risk of severe weather, the first one of the year so far, the first one of the severe weather season in store for the central U.S. and the mid Mississippi River Valley. You can see that expands from really northern Louisiana all the way into southern Indiana, and that's going to come with the risk of flooding, also damaging winds, damaging hail and tornadoes. So we have a lot to cover today. I want to show you what's happening on the Viper Doppler radar as well as we head into this afternoon and uh, really for the first half of your day today, it's going to be extremely wet. You can see where a lot of this rain is falling anywhere from eastern and northern Texas, right around the Red River, all the way up into the Ohio Valley and right into southern Illinois. Look at the heavy rain that's falling. And then even on the north side of this, we're talking about the cold weather component of this with snow and freezing rain being a concern for the upper Midwest and the high plains throughout the afternoon. We'll be keeping you on top of what's happening with the winter weather throughout the hour, uh, focusing a little bit more right now on the flooding rains that are really happening from St. Louis all the way up towards Indianapolis and continuing to Cleveland with thunderstorms this morning and uh, really rainfall rates about one to maybe two inches per hour at times. Now the thunderstorm activity for this morning is focused down towards the Red River of eastern and northern Texas and Dallas up towards Wichita Falls southern ends of Oklahoma. You're seeing the moisture this morning and you're going to continue to see it through this afternoon. Marcus, this is one of those areas that we're tracking for the possibility of all of that severe weather. Yeah, and the severe weather is really the big story for yeah. today. I know you brought it up. Right. This is the first time we've had an enhanced risk for mm -hmm. severe weather this year. And yeah. so conditions are definitely setting up for intense weather. They definitely will be. I mean, and tornadoes could be a big concern today. And we haven't talked about many tornadoes this year. Yeah, so let's talk about the setup overall yeah. because uh, we have a lot of ingredients that will play a part in the weather that we deal with. And as we take a look at the setup, we have this powerful cold front moving in from the west. At the same time, we have a lot of high humidity across the south and the southeast. We have warm conditions, temperatures anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees above average. And again, we have that colder dry air moving in from the west, all helping to support severe weather. A few other elements. We have a strong subtropical jet helping to bring energy into the mid and high levels of the atmosphere. And we also have another disturbance moving out of the middle of the country. And the combination of all of those ingredients are really setting the stage for severe weather anywhere from Ohio down toward the Gulf Coast. So a lot of people will be feeling the impacts from this weather. And as we track it, we are expecting showers and storms to move across parts of the south as we head from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. And by the time we get to 9 p.m., we're still talking about a line of intense rain and potentially storms moving through. So Nashville, definitely be on the lookout for that. And as we look toward Cleveland, today you're getting rain, but farther south towards Cincinnati, Evansville, a lot more rain and a lot more storms and a lot more moisture moving across our regions. So we are talking about a very wet and stormy day and a few other the concerns, a few other concerns, definitely tornado. That's a threat out there for that today, anywhere from western Kentucky down into eastern Texas. And then we're also watching out for not only a tornado threat, but strong wind, damaging winds in excess of 60, even 70 miles per hour. And we're also looking out for the threat for hail. So this is only part of the story, but a big part of it. The other part of that story, flooding. Take a look at this video out of Marshall, Kentucky. You see that raging water there flowing. Again, more things like that are on the way for today and even tomorrow. Yeah, you know what? This flooding threat has been unfolding since early portions of last week. And so uh, we pretty much have known that this was going to be an issue. It's just now coming to fruition and in a very dramatic fashion. Yeah, you know, we've had some areas of Arkansas pick up more than six, pick up more than seven inches mm -hmm. of rain. And we're talking about more rain, anywhere from one to two inches more of rain. And we can get higher amounts if we get some really intense thunderstorms right. and if they travel right over the same areas. And that's been the case. Yeah over the past week to two weeks. And that's exactly why we have that threat of flash flooding today as well. The ground is saturated. The ground can't handle any more moisture at all. So from Little Rock all the way up towards Louisville, the chance of seeing flash flooding is extremely elevated. And when we talk about flash flooding, we mm -hmm. mean that flooding uh, that can occur very suddenly. Right. So you're one minute, the road is just wet. The mm -hmm. next minute, we have a lot of water on the roadways. And again, anywhere from the Ohio Valley down into central Arkansas, that's where we have the greatest chance for flash flooding. Yeah. We already have been talking about flooding a lot this week. We have 25 rivers here, uh, stages in the major flooding stage, and even more that are in moderate stage. Yeah, so water, a big part of the forecast mm -hmm. today, but also severe weather. And Little Rock, you're right in the heart of it all. Yeah, but go ahead and make it through today with the severe weather. Have your alerts on your phone, have your weather radio ready, and uh, get, in, get ready for the sunshine tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. But we'll be back with more updates throughout the day, and we're talking snow next across where? Arizona.